Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to show you how I did this or how you can do that with your um, cards without a card mat. And basically what we did in our last video was we did the front and back and the inside left that I cut out for. And now we're gonna draw or print and cut for the inside piece. So make sure you stick around to watch till the end and thanks so much for watching guys. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make a duplicate of the card base, which is whenever we cut the paper, it was the poster board, the white poster board. That is going to help you see the inside of the card. So what I want to do is come over here to our layers panel, which is right over here. And I want to hold down my shift key because I'm going to be choosing a few different layers here. So the first layer I need is the rectangle this one right here, the big rectangle. So I'm gonna hold my shift key down. I'm gonna select a square, and then I'm gonna scroll up and I'm gonna find my line, which is right here, and it's called the score line. And it'll tell you right here, that's your score line. You're gonna click that, still holding the shift key. And then I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna select duplicate. And there we have our duplicate copy. So. Let me make the screen a little bit smaller. Let's move everything out of the way so we can get everything on at once. Okay, so here, so here's the front of our card. Oh, it's not attached anymore. Okay, so here's the front of our card. This is gonna be the inside of the card, right? So we know that on the inside of the card, we already put, our spider web. So we're going to bring this to front and we put our little spider on here and we're going to bring him to front just by clicking with the right and clicking bring to front. Okay. So there's also like a line drawn that comes straight down to the spider, which is super cute. But now we want to make a sentiment in here, right? But because we did writing on the front and we're not using a card mat, if we tried to flip the card over and write on the inside, there might be some off centering. And we don't want that when we're doing a card. We want it to look exactly how we want it to look. So how I do it without the card mat is I just make a piece that's going to fit right in here that we're going to attach into our card, right? So let me show you. I'm going to go get a, a square and I'm just going to resize it. So this card is a five by seven and I like a quarter of an inch border around the inside of my cards. When I do, a, this is basically what I call a card mat. So you're just matting the inside and you're gonna write on the mat, not the actual um, card itself. So even if it's the same color, even if you use a white piece of paper to mat on, it's gonna be perfectly fine. Um, I think I'm gonna use a different color. I think I'm gonna use either the orange or maybe, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna use the orange because I really like that burnt orange color. So what you're gonna do is just go up here and you're gonna make the size you want. So the first thing you want to do is unlock it by clicking that little lock right there. And then we're going to go for our width. So we know that our five by seven card, we need it to be um, 4.75 because that's going to give us a quarter of an inch from side to side and now we need to give ourselves a quarter of an inch from top to bottom so now we're going to make this 6.75 and that's going to be over here on your height so you're just going to backspace on the two click 6.75 and hit enter and then you can it which it doesn't really matter if you align it in here but this will just give you an idea and now all we need to do is write on it what we want on it. So I'm going to move it out of the way. And we can move all this now because we don't, well, I don't want to take this from you. I want you guys to see how this is going to work. Okay, so now we're just going to, I'm going to make this that orange color that I'm going to use. So by changing colors, all you have to do is come up here to this little box, click on it, um, pick out your orange, 
and you're ready to go. So the next thing we need to do is just type our sentiment. So we're going to come over to here to text and our little text box will show up. You can drag that if you want. Um, you can just click on the center of it and drag it out of the way. I'm going to make it kind of big so you guys can see it here. And then I'm just going to start typing something cute. We could just put boo on the inside, you know? We could just do boo in capital letters. Boo with an exclamation point. I like that. But we want it to write. So we want the machine to write it. We're not going to write it. We're not cutting this out. So now what we have to do is go back up to where it says operation. And we need to click on the down arrow and scroll down to pen. Or you could do a print and cut. So in this situation, you could, um, which I'll show you know what, I'll go ahead and show you that option as well. I think that's a good idea. Okay, so if we don't want it filled in and we just want it to be like um, kind of boxy, let me show you how to do this. Okay, guys, I'm doing this with my left hand because I'm, um, the way I have to film these, my hand is like, my camera's in the way. Okay. So let's make it a little bit smaller. Just like that. Okay, now in order for this to stay on, to be drawn on this orange rectangle, we have to attach what we're drawing, right? So we're gonna click on the boo, we're gonna hold our shift key down and click on the orange. Then we're gonna come down here to the little paper clip and we're gonna click attach. So this lets the machine know that whenever it's ready to design this or make this, it's only going to draw the boo on this exact spot on this cutout piece. And it's first gonna draw and then it's gonna cut. So now that that's all designed, it's that simple. I, I didn't wanna make, you could put anything you wanted in here. Okay, so now the next option that you have, so once we do this, I'll show you this, how it's gonna draw once we get it on the machine. But there's another option. So say we want to um, do a, sorry, my table's moving. Say we want to do a print and cut. That would work as well. You wouldn't even have to have the machine write for you in there if you didn't want to. You could do a print and cut and just print it out and put it right down on the page. So let's do that too. I hadn't planned on doing that, but we're going to do it. So we can click on it and... We're going to come over to this panel, click on the orange panel, right click, and then click duplicate. So we have ourselves another panel. And what do we want it to print? How about we do, um, well, it could print anything. We could just print, I'll, I'll type something, um, happy fall. So let's go in and get our text by coming over to the side, click on text. And we'll put happy, whoopsie, happy fall. Okay. And then we're going to just drag it down here. Well, look, that just kind of, whenever I smushed it, it kind of helped me center it. So I want this to be very dark black. So I'm going to come into my colors and I'm going to make it black. And then look, I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to go up to, to operation. I'm going to click down and then I'm going to click on print then cut. All right, so now it's ready. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hide all of this stuff. Okay, this is attached, that's attached. And we can take that out. Okay, so now that we have just the pieces that we're actually going to use to go on the inside of the card, I'm going to go ahead and click make it. Okay, so I was going to go with the orange, but since I'm going to print out the orange, I would just want to make sure you guys see the difference in them. So this one, I'm just going to lay my paper down. And the Cricut paper is textured, so for writing on it, 
I don't feel you get the greatest results with Cricut paper whenever you're writing or drawing, but I do like it for when we're cutting out. Like I said, I'm um, in the other video, I believe was, I, I really like it for, um, like die cuts that we're cutting out. All right. So now I'm going to pick which pen I want. Um, I think we're just going to do black because it's Halloween, right? I'm going to do a Halloween one. And this is the Calligraphy 2.0 Black. So I think it'll be nice and bold. And we're just going to get our machine ready. So I'm just using my standard grip mat because of this paper. Um, you could use your light grip mat if it's nice and sticky. And I use my brayer to just press it down. So let's head over to the machine and get it to draw and cut for us. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my marker in the A slot and you'll hear it click and then you just close your A spot. And then I'm going to get my mat ready to be loaded. So on my computer, I'm just clicking make it. And I'm clicking on a mat and continue. Okay, so it's saying set my material. I'm going to put, um, where's my cardstock? Medium cardstock is what I'm gonna click on. And then now the machine's flashing, it's telling me to load. Now the play button is flashing. That means we can start. Oh, I like doing the calligraphy pen. This is nice. I've never used the calligraphy pen before, but I like the boldness of it. Okay, and now it's going to go in here, reset, and then come out and cut our rectangle. Okay, and now it's going to flash to say it's done. And look at that. Do you see what I mean by the texture of the paper? Can you guys see the texture on there? I don't really care for that when I'm writing on something. I like a smoother surface to write on. So that's why I'm still searching for the perfect paper that is smooth. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys this option if you wanted to do it. So now we're gonna peel that off and we're going to do our print and cut. And I'm gonna go ahead and print that off on my printer and then I'll show you with the machine cutting it. All right, so here it is after it printed out, and now I'm gonna put it into my Maker 3, if I didn't say that already, which machine I was using, I apologize. And we're gonna go ahead and cut it. So I'm just getting my material base to choose from. And we're just using copy paper, so I'm just gonna type in the search for copy paper. Um, I'm gonna say it's 20 pounds and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Done. Now what these little uh, corner pieces are, are the registration marks and the machine will kind of like send a beam of light out and it'll read all those so it knows where it needs to cut. And then we just hit the play button have it a little close to the window. Do you hear the power in this machine? 
I love it. I really, really am so glad that I got the Maker 3. As a matter of fact, guys, I don't know if you know this, I sold all of my other machines, and now I just have my Maker 3 and my Joy. So all of my uh, Explorer Airs 2 that used to be my absolute favorite, I have um, recently sold. All right, so as you can see, it just cut it out for us. So now I'm going to hit the button that just releases it. And then we're going to open clamp A, pop out our marker, put the lid back on it, put it back in my on my shelf. And we're done with the machine for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off. And we're gonna head back over to the desk so that I can show you how this will all work together. Okay, so here's our two pieces. So I have the one that we drew and cut out, and now this one is the one we printed and cut out. So let's pull away the extra. We don't need this piece, so I'm not really worried about it bending, but I don't want this piece to bend. So I'm going to take my spatula and I'm just gonna hold it down. And as I go, as I pull back, I'm gonna press down with my spatula. Just like that. Okay, so there's that piece. Now we had a little bit of rolling because I kind of lost a little bit of control. And honestly, you guys aren't gonna use printer paper. I mean, you could use printer paper like I'm using, but um, you're probably gonna be using a heavier weight of paper whenever you do it but this was just for an example for you guys. Oh, and if you guys are interested in how I do my mats, I just hang them right up on the wall. So here's how I do my mats. I just hang them right here on my, my wall with these little hooks that I got off Amazon. And then this is just the desk that you guys see me at. And then I have all of my stuff up there. And then all the way up this wall is my um, vinyl and then I have my little whiteboard here and some extra lighting and then my machine over there So okay back to the design Oops Let it adjust. Okay, so remember this is the card that the the front and the back we made in the last video And then in this video and we did this piece right here. So now we're working in here this part of the card so here's what you could do. You could add this in. You could have pumpkins drawn on here. You could have um, like a nice, a very nice like happy Halloween, miss you, wish you were here, that sort of thing. Um, and you could just use double-sided tape and stick on here. Or you can use the part that you drew and cut and just apply it to here. So that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna apply this piece because I actually am making this card for somebody else. And then I'm gonna give a light border all the way around. Remember we made it a quarter of an inch smaller than the actual card itself. And now we could still sign it, but I just thought this looked so cute. What do you guys think? So we did the front, the back, the inside, and the left hand inside. Isn't that cute, guys? Well, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I really wanted to give you guys an in-depth way of um, how to make it work without a card mat. Now, we do. I do have a card mat. Like I said, I have one for the Joy, and I have the big one. It's You guys would have seen it whenever I showed you my vinyl, but it's hanging up very high, and I probably need my husband to get that down, but um, I don't really use mine. I find that it's kind of more of a pain than if I just do it either this way or a print and cut. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like, share, and comment. Uh, you guys are making my channel grow, and I so much greatly appreciate it. And until our next video, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.